If the Piccadilly line sounds old, it's because these creaky carriages have been running for almost 50 years. This is a Piccadilly line, sir. But they're about to get a 21st century upgrade. But to get to see it, you have to get off the train and on a plane. Getting off the old tube at Heathrow, we're flying to Germany. Invited by Siemens to get on board the brand new carriages. So this is it, we're getting on the Piccadilly line in Germany. So this is what it looks like inside. The same Piccadilly blue colors, but lots of big changes. The main one, walk through carriages, and it's much cooler. Quite literally, there's now air conditioning. <laughs> ITV News was among a select group of journalists to board the new train at the Test and Validation Centre near Dusseldorf. This is the first of the air-cooled trains for London Underground. So we really want to give the passengers the comfort they deserve while travelling on, on this train. But the train isn't quite ready yet. This walk-through carriage is actually blocked by a mirror. On the other side, Siemens says engineers are doing dynamic testing, checking acceleration and braking. This animation shows what it will look like on the underground. Wider, more accessible doors, increasing passenger capacity by 10% and greener by being more energy efficient. But there's one destination this won't be reaching. The dream of driverless trains, a promise made by Boris Johnson when he was mayor. In the end, these will be driverless trains, that's, that's right. But the aspiration was for London to be more like the Paris Metro, who've had driverless trains for 20 years. Siemens insists they can make them for the Piccadilly line. You can produce a driverless train in London. That technology exists with us, yes. But back in London, the unions say it will never happen. Rags, I think you and I will have been replaced by artificial intelligence long before there are driverless trains on the London Underground. And back on board the train in Germany, Transport for London, didn't seem to want to upset the unions. Siemens just told us that they can produce driverless trains. Yeah, there are no plans for driverless at the moment. I understand the capability is there, but at the moment we have investment plans to give excellent customer service to our customers in there for London. Can you see there's like a pile on here? But there are no threads of division on the material used for the seats. The maquette, to give it its proper name, as rail enthusiasts excited. Within the pattern of this maquette are certain uh, features which you'll see from tube station. That's the pylon on top of Southgate tube station. So there's puzzles in this There's in puzzles this in there. There's more than one. Yeah, it's up to you to find them all. This is Southgate. Next stop, building the 94 trains and expected on the Piccadilly line in 2025. Rags Martel, ITV News, Germany.